Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Welcome to you, my dear students, in this lecture, which is lecture number six in the course Translating Text Types, Tarjimat al Anmat al Nasiya. I realize that we have talked a little bit or some um, information about the theoretical part of this course. The theoretical part of this course began from maybe lecture number two until lecture number five and now I feel that before we enter into the practical part of translating text types we have to go back a little bit and to have a look and some general revision on what we have just taken from the first lecture to the fifth lecture now I think we've talked about the following. The first lecture, it contains, I think, or con uh, something like, uh, you see, the importance of translation and definitions and so, so many things. We'd like just to, to come uh, to, to pass uh, by these ideas that we have just on conveyed in those lectures. As we talk to you about, we have a text and you are a translator. You are required to translate that text in a way that will make those who read the translation feel the same feeling of those who read the source text. So, we have a text and there are many opposing forces that pull the translation activity on opposite directions. Text, nas we have opposing forces قوى متضاربة قوى تشد النص من نواحي متعددة وقد مثلها نيومارك in this diagram or this figure like so you see we have the source language writer SL SL that means source language اللغة المصدر writer الكاتب source language norms SL norms source language culture culture ثقافة هذا مهم في الترجمة أيضا source language setting and tradition تقاليد source language SL this part which is in your left hand it is in my left hand now okay and the other part which is on your right hand which also some forces that will, you know, affect the way that you are going to translate the text. It is the target language, TL, TL, and that means target language. If I ask you for the for example, SL and TL stand for, what does stand for? يعني أنها تمثل أو اختصار لي لإيش SL source language TL target language okay TL readership readership القراء وهذا مهم جدا القراء عامل مهم جمهور القراء audience اللي انت مترجم لهم هذا الترجمة لازم تفكر فيهم جيدا لما تترجم للأطفال غير لما تترجم للبالغين غير لما تترجم ل um, uh, professionals okay TL norms طبعا مقابل SL norms TL culture مقابل SL culture TL setting and tradition مقابل SL setting and tradition and we have in the middle two important factors nine which is the truth the facts of the matter you have a text in which you have many truths numbers maybe percentages maybe names maybe you know many things in this text and these facts and truth are going to be translated by you and you have to know these facts and truth how to deal with that and how to transfer that to the other language that you are intending to translate the text to translator you are the translator you are the translator so we have tin we have tin components 10 10 يخترعها مين؟ نيومارك 
On what? Ten components. On what? What uh, is called? This is called by um, Newmark. Dynamics of translation. Dynamics of translation. Dynamics of translation. يعني مثلا الحين target language. Uh, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten components or dynamics of translation that are suggested by a new mark. And we have talked about that. And you see that you you are in front of a text. You want to translate that text. You have to take into con your concentration to put to bear in your hand or to, to bear in your head. Okay, how would you deal with the, such a text? And how would you pick up or determine the strategies or general strategies and strategies of details that you're going to use to translate that text into? Because you are having something in, the, in your left hand and some other things on your right hand and you're trying to translate that text according to those opposing forces. Opposing forces. Huwa هذه كلها تشد النص الذي سيخرج بالطريقة تشد بطريقة مختلفة اتجاهها. Okay. Let's see what other things that we have just talked about. I think we've just talked about as well about translation. Translation. What does translation mean according to Jeremy Monday? Jeremy Monday classifies or talks about that in a way that is considerable I like that so I've just included that in my slides just to make you uh, be sure that there are many people who are talking about translation they may just uh, show you or give you or inform you by good and excellent ideas about definitions and many things so translation to German when they means Maybe may or may mean the following. The term translation can refer to. ممكن يعود هذا term term يعني المفهوم المصطلح حق translation ممكن يعود إلى إيش? The general subject field about everything that's happening in translation. Whether it is you the translator or the text or you know translating some translating strategies or whatever. Is talk is whatever related to translation, you may say that this is translation. Like you say, for example, biology, uh, Arabic, religion, history, translation, um, health, and so on. It is like a big title under which you can find many things related to that title. يعني هي مفهوم عام الترجمة كذا مفهوم عام أي شيء يتعلق بها بالترجمة. هو يتكلم عن يمكن أن يعتبر general subject field field يعني حق العام حق الخاص بهذا الموضوع the product the product you know you have a text you translated that text into English and it is for example a text in Arabic you have a text in Arabic you just have took, um, have taken this uh, that text and uh, began translating it when you finish you give it to your client and you say this is your translation so this text which is translated into English is the product that German Monday talks about as a translation so he may refer you know he just wanted to show us what uh, this term may refer to as uh, uh, you know a, a translation term and the third one the process the act of producing the translation the process you know, you are sitting and you are talking, uh, I'm sorry, you are sitting, you have a text, you have your dictionary with you, you have your Google with you, your computer with you, and you have the book, many books, and many other references, and you are sitting. And you may have your phone as well to call somebody to help you in getting the meaning of something. So, you, this, this thing, what, what you are doing, reading the, the source text, then writing the translation to the target text and checking something from the dictionary or checking some words from the dictionary some vocabulary from the dictionary to 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 see the exact meaning or the um, varieties of meaning that this term 
may uh, include, then you may also call somebody, ask him about something. You all may call or, you know, go to Google and ask Google about something. This a process, as Jeremy Mande suggests, is also maybe called translation. يعني عملية الترجمة عملية النقل من وإلى لغة إلى أخرى باستخدام جميع الوسائل هذه العملية القائمة هي عملية تسمى ترجمة أيضا ممكن تقول عنها translation يعني كلمة translation ممكن ممكن أنها أو هذا الترم المصطلح ممكن أنه يصف هذه الأمور الثلاثة حسب ما يقول مين جيرمي ماندي أنا أكلمكم مرة ثانية جيرمي ماندي عنده كتاب اسمه إيش اسمه introducing translation studies introducing translation studies let me come closer to you so that you can just get it get the name okay and he talks about that in one of the pages I think I'm not sure now what page uh, is he talking about that in okay so let's go what does translation mean these are the definitions of translation and we have just uh, looked uh, at uh, four definitions and I just picked four definitions I don't want you to go further more many people talked about the definition of translation and many people are competing between each other so that they can just get a definition that will be accepted by all and that is you know uh, that is something uh, related to scholars and their competition in producing idioms or producing definitions that will be widely used and he will be also an odd for that so we have many authors or many scholars try to define translation. The first one, Newmark, and I've just uh, talked to you about his book, uh, textbook of translation, and many books he has also uh, authored in that uh, area. But he talks about that like this: rendering the meaning of a text into another language in the way that uh, uh, the way that the author intended the text. Okay, this is you know, and I just ask you to concentrate on two major words, key words, two. It is transferring the meaning, rendering the meaning, transporting the meaning. نقل المعنى, نقل المعنى من لغة إلى أخرى. This is translation as a basic. This is translation as a basic. Basically, this is the translation. You want to render the meaning from one language to another. But, you know, when you come to, uh, to the practical ground, or to the practical you know, translation, you may have some other details about that. But basically, this is a, you know, um, what we call a translation according to Newmark. I'm going to say according to, يعني بالنسبة لمي لNewmark. كما قال Newmark. كما قال Newmark أو دعا Newmark. Okay. Author عند Newmark شو هو؟ هو مش أوثر يعني المؤلف كتاب هو أوثر قصده the, the originator of the text whether it is oral or written يعني قائل أو منشئ أو منتج أو عامل ذلك النص مهما كان هذا النص oral or written إما لو كان منطوقا أو مكتوبا okay so this is the first definition of translation. ممكن يجيك في الاختبار. Like this, أقول لك مثلاً rendering the meaning of a text into another language in the way that the author intended the text to. Okay, it is the definition of. هذا تعريف مين؟ أقول لك نيومارك. أقول لك جيرمي مندي. أقول لك. Okay, it is نيومارك. Or maybe, for example, rendering the فراغ of a text into another language in the way that the author intended the text. Okay, you can just, you have your, um, you know, uh, three uh, choices and you can, or four choices, I'm sorry, and you can find the word meaning within uh, those uh, four choices and you can just check it or pick it or uh, circle it. Okay, let's see. <coughs> what does translation mean? What does translation mean? This is also another definition which is longer than that for uh, Brussels and it is good but I'd like I just included that in my uh, slides because you know some definitions are very short and simple and basic and we'd like to uh, know that so that we can or the students can be able to understand 
you know, the general term of translation. Now, some people are offering some other definitions which are very longer but more accurate, أكثر دقة. But you will find that this definition is the same in the general idea of the first one which was just two lines. Translation is in is the general term referring to the transfer مرة ثانية transfer نقل of thoughts and ideas أفكار وال والفكر بشكل عام الحين thoughts and ideas maybe like meaning transfer the meaning transfer meaning from one language which is source language to another language which target target language هذا الجزء الأول هو عرف الترجمة لكن الحين يبدأ بإيش بالكلام whether the languages are in written or oral form we're, to, we're not just talking about written form we're talking about also oral form sometimes you need to translate some oral activity somebody who's talking in a press conference for example and you know talking about himself about something what, whatever may be political in fact somebody would just sit or stand beside him while he says two or three words then he consecutively uh, renders the meaning what, of what that political or politic, politic uh, man um, uh, saying to uh, the people who are just listening and they don't understand that man's language. So we call that consecutive translation, somebody who is just picking your words and or picking your four or four, five sentences, then he says that orally in, uh, to, to the audience who are waiting to, to see what that man is talking about. So, this is what's called oral translation. Maybe oral, the text may be oral, or may, maybe, okay, written. Whether the languages have established orthographies, or do not have such standardization, or whether one or both languages is based on signs, as with sign languages of the diff. All these after the word target, you know, after the word target here, after the word target, to the end, these are details that will make the definition more accurate and adequate. Okay, so what is translation is that, okay, referring to the transfer of thoughts and ideas, of meanings, from one language to another language. This is the basic, this is the basic thing, but the other ideas that are offered by the author or by the, by the, the man who def defines this, the other uh, information is just to, to give you an adequate, an accurate overview or meaning of uh, the word, uh, of the term translation. Okay, this for Bristol, I think, 1972. Let's go. What does translation mean? Also, we have this. Okay, uh, this um, uh, definition by okay uh, is often by yes Fargal. Fargal is yes, he is an excellent uh, scholar. I I just know, and um, I just picked that definition from his book because he uh, is uh, of Arabic background and he has a lot of uh, uh, researches in uh, translation and he deserves to be put in my slides. So, translation is often regarded as a project for transferring meaning from one language to another. This is for uh, Farah. Okay. All the previous mentioned definitions of the term translation talk about two key words. There are two key words in that. The, the first one is transfer, that th the second one is meaning. Two key words in the definition of translation. Transfer and meaning. كلمات مفتاحية أساسية في الترجمة هما transfer النقل و meaning المعنى. Okay. Some other basic definitions like source text ST the text requiring translation. هذا لازم نحفظها يعني نعرفها. Target text TT قلنا source text النص المصدر. Target text النص الهدف. Source language اللغة المصدر. Target language اللغة الهدف استراتيجي يعني استراتيجية أو الطريقة المستخدمة أو النظرة العامة التي يمكن أن تتخذها كموقف من النص من أجل ترجمته. Okay. Source text, the text requiring translation. 
target text TT the text which is a translation of the source text ترجمري النص المصدر source language the language in which the source text is written target language the language into which the source text is translated strategy what is strategy Oh, the translator's overall plan consisting of a set of strategic decisions taken after, I'm sorry, taken after an initial reading of the source text, but before starting detailed translation. Strategy, but before translating, before starting detailed translation, you take a decision of what strategy you are going to use in translating that sort of text. We talked as well about translation studies as a discipline. Now, translation studies is a very vast discipline under which everything related to, that, to, to, to translation is in. You see, and we talked about our location, like text type, text type, course, is located here in the translation studies which is a pure which is theoretical which is partial and one of the partial uh, theoretical pure translation studies is what is called text type which is text type restricted so text type is here in that text type is here in the whole this is the whole picture of translation studies the whole diagram and you see it is a pure and applied and so on but would like to know what our location, where our location is. You may have some other courses which will talk about applied trans translation studies. You know, translation, uh, translators training, translator aids, translator, uh, criticism, function area, and so on. These things may, you may just have. A, uh, you may just uh, uh, have that in other courses. But we just, I just wanted to show you where our location as uh, 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 translating text types is. Are all those texts of the same text type? Are this? Oh, and this is the question that is important. Are all texts the same? You know, we have just uh, encountered or we have just seen together and read together um, uh, many texts, about nine texts, I think, English and Arabic texts. Uh, so that to give you, a, you know, an idea about what text type we're talking about. Text type, text type, text. What is the term text type and how practically can we understand that thing so you see text type one was religious text it was taken from the holy quran it is a religious text taken from a holy book from the noble book which is al-quran al kareem and this is and i told you that uh, uh, translating such a text must be accurate and you have to pay a lot of attention to the meanings because you just trans, you know, you, you just transfer the meanings of the Holy Quran in a way that will, you know, uh, uh, have an effect on people uh, who don't speak Arabic. Like that effect, uh, uh, that uh, you know, maybe uh, on those people who speak Arabic or who who have just uh, read that in Arabic language. Text two is a bank leaflet. We talk about online banking, passwords, you know, uh, uh, usernames. Uh, links, everything. We are talking about another text, which is totally different from the first one. Okay, text three was about a technical text describing a certain disease. وهذا كان عن technical text يعني نص تقني بحث مقدم يعني هو يعني كان مأخوذ من إحدى كليات الطب اللي تدرس الطب اللغة العربية. ما تدرس الطب اللغة الإنجليزية. تدرس الطب اللغة أعتقد هو من جامعة دمشق. أنا أعلم أخذ من كتاب في يدرس في جامعة دمشق. Okay, وهذا يتكلم عن عن disease معين عن مرض معين certain disease. So it is technical. ومليء تذكرون في إذا راح نشوف إحنا وراح نتكلم عنه راح نتكلم عن التفصيل. Okay, text four is a literary text taken from the novel Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. You know, novel, a long story, a long imaginative story talking about some, you know, maybe some someone or the life of some somebody. Okay, so literary, that means adabi. Uh, the text is an official speech, you know, official speech, khitab rasmi, by the custodian of the two holy mosques. And text six is a poem by the famous English poet William Wordsworth. This was the English poet, 
الرومانسي المعروف وليام وردزورث بوم ات واز شيت ووكت امونغ ذا انتردن وايز بيسايد ذا سبرينتس اوف ذا اند سو اون تكست 7 از ان اكاديميك تكست تكست ثيسيس ابستراكت كان عندنا مثال ثيسيس ابستراكت مرخص رساله ماجستير او دكتوراه تكست 8 از ا فاينانشال تكست taken from the economist newspaper financial text is it uh, and text 9 is taken from a tourist brochure brochure yani nashra siyahiya aw qura siyahi so are all texts the same it is obvious that not not all texts are the same not all texts are the same type laysa kull al nusus hiya min nafs an naw' wa laysat min nafs an namat We may distinguish between political text, legal text, and so on until the end. The end that was uh, told by Strasbourg, 1998. Uh, now, text type. Catherine Rice talking about text types, and she views the text rather than the word or sentence as the level at which communication is achieved and at which equivalence must be taught. And then a كلمتين text and then a كلمة ثانية equivalence وعند بينهما كلام أيضا مهم. Text نص. النص هو بالنسبة لكاثرين رايت هو الأهم الذي يجب أن نعتمد عليه في تحقيق التواصل وفي تحقيق أيضا عملية equivalence اللي هو التكافؤ المعنوي we don't we don't depend on word as she suggests هذا تقوله مين كاثرين رايت واحدة من العالمات الأميات في هذا المجال أوكي she suggests that we just You know, uh, uh, the text is the most important. You know, the word and sentence will become, will come after that. It's okay. But generally and initially, we have to concentrate on the text. We're not talking about text. What is the text? The nas. What is the nas? Maybe it could be a word, a sentence, a coherent tool, coherent tool, complete, complete. وممكن تكون عبارة عن مقالة من خمس ورقات، ست ورقات، عشر ورقات. ممكن تكون أيضا مجلدات. من من ورقات مجلدات من من كتب ايضا مليئه بالورقات بالصفحات اوكي ليتس جو اولسو وي توكت اباوت يو نو حاتم اند ميسون كلاسيفيكيشن اوف تكست تايبس سو ذي جاست توكت اباوت ارجيمنتيف اكسبوزيتيف اند انستراكشن بيست تكست تايبس عندهم عنده كان حاتم اند ميسون اثنينهم كان عندهم تقسيمه لانماط النصوص في نمط يقول جدلي ونمط تفسيري تعبير نمط معتمد على التعليمات أم أه بالنسبه لنيو مارك اعتمد على بولرز فانكشنز اوف لانجويج اعتبر انه في عندنا اكسبرسيف انفورماتيف اند فوكاتيف واكسبرسيف بيعتمد تماما على الرايتر اللي هو الكاتب والانفورماتيف بيعتمد تماما على الكونتنت على التوبيك على الموضوع حق المعرفه الموجود اند فوكاتيف ريدر شيب والفوكاتيف يعني اللي هو الندائي اللي اللي بي بي اللي هو خصوصا خاص بالدعايات عن صار وفي عندهم كلمه مهمه وجميله ان هم few texts are purely expressive informative or vocative most include all three functions with an emphasis on one of the three يعني هم بيدعوا انه هذا كل اغلب النصوص ممكن تجد فيها من من صفات كل من هذه الانماط التي قسموها ولكن هو يكون بركز بالتالي على نمط واحد من انماط النصوص. الحين رايس تكلمت ايضا عن مجموعه ثلاث اشياء ايضا او هي اربعه حقيقه تكلمت لكن احنا في الداجرام هذا موجود ثلاثه مش مش راح اسالكم كم كم واحد تكلمت هي عن اربعه او ثلاثه لكن نعرف انه هي تكلمت عن فورماتيف اكسبرسيف اوبريتيف في واحد اسمه اوديو ميديال اللي بيتعلق بالدعايه اوديو ميديال. ميديا اللي هي الاعلام والاوديو معناها الصوت. اوكي، وهي تكلمت ايضا انفورماتيف هاو كيف لانجويج فانكشن اللي هو وظيفه اللغه في لانجويج دايمنشن البعد اللغوي في عندكم لوجيكال بيكون بالنسبه للانفورماتيف البعد اللغوي بالنسبه للاكسبرسيف بيكون استاتيك، استاتيك يعني اللي هو جمالي خاص تذكر لما تقول اكسبرسيف او استاتيك سمثينج لايك ا بويم قصيده او أو كتابة شعرية أو كتابة أدبية يريد الكاتب أن يظهر فيه كل مقدرته في التعبير اللغوي في التركيز على الفورم اللي هو تكسير على الصيغة اللي هو تكست فوكس فورم فوكس أند ترانسليشن يو نو إيتش وان وي توكت أباوت 
في عندكم ترانسليشن بتكون بلين بروز اللي هو نثر بسيط في ترانسليشن بتكون ايدينتيفاينج تحديد في ترانسليشن بتكون ادابتيف اللي هي الاخيره بالنسبه للابريتيف واللي هي بتكون ادابتيف يعني تكييفيه بتكيف النص مع ما مع مع النص الاصلي مثلا احنا نتكلم مثلا عن بعض الدعايات التي تكون مثلا موجهه للغرب تريد ان تنقلها الى توجه لعرب اذا النص ممكن ان تكيف بحيث يصبح مناسب ويجذب بطريقه بالطريقه التي تجذب الناس في المجتمع العربي يعني الطريقه التي تجذب الناس هناك تختلف عن طريقه هنا انا عندي مثال حقيقة علقت عليه في دراسات سابقة لكن اعتقد we don't have a lot of time to talk about that we, we, we I'm gonna talk about that I think when we talk about uh, advertisements and how to translate them okay general and text type هذا بالنسبة لديكنز والاخرين ديكنز ورفاقه بيعتبروا انه text type هو general والجنرا يعني اللي هو النمط او نوع النص او جنس النص يعني ب يحتمل تقريبا نفس المعنى شوف the term text type is often used in a similar sense of genre بنفس المعنى تقريبا من كلمة genre لذلك هم opted for يعني اختاروا انهم يتكلموا عن genre بدل ما يتكلموا عن text type وقسموا اللغة او قسموا الجنرز هذول الى خمسة اقسام اللي هم literary, religious, philosophical, empirical, persuasive literary يعني ادبي religious ديني philosophical فلسفي empirical تجريبي persuasive um, okay. uh, يعني اقناعي okay. so uh, we just uh, would like to uh, come here along to uh, just see how we begin translation then when before you begin translating any text you need to ask yourself the following important questions هذه يعني اسئلة ممكن تسألها لنفسك قبل ما تبدأ ترجم اي اي نص هذه الاسئله ما هي what is the message content of this particular source text what are its salient linguistic features we are talking about linguistic features this is important because you have to take care of that when you translate so you have to take to take care of the linguistic features of the source language and the linguistic features of the of the target language what are its principal effects some effects uh, that the writer or the originator or the author of the text has just put to uh, to uh, put that in impact on people before you know when when he just authorized author authored or said that text so if you know that you can you can think of how to render that also or to translate that or to transfer that to the other language okay what genre does it belong to that that's okay genre or text type what does it uh, what does this belong to and what audience we're talking about the readership and I took I talked to you before or told you before audience or readership or people who are going to read the product of translation are important to be to be put in your mind that those people who are going to read the text or to listen to the text which you have just translated are important because you don't uh, translate the same way uh, uh, the same the same text may not be translated in the same way when it's translated to different readerships okay what are the functions and intended audience of my translation okay that's okay we're, we're talking about functions and intended audience you know people you are going to translate that uh, product too and we have just finished and thank you so much and see you inshallah next lecture which will be or which will begin on uh, uh, which will begin we will begin in the practicals okay thank you so much see you inshallah next lecture